Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share my experience with this beautiful, beautiful puzzle, Plumes of Color by Buffalo Games, the Vivid Collection. That puzzle was awesome, guys. It was so much fun and the timing was perfect, I guess, because I was just finished with this first 2000 pieces Star Wars puzzle. It was on my table for 10 days. It was complicated. I made a video about it and also it was my first puzzle. So probably I won't do another 2000 pieces for a while. I want to have fun. I want to do different stuff. Now that one was really different. Vibrant colors, simple, kind of easy, I guess, but not that's so easy i'll talk about it a little bit i had some challenges with it because i'm a beginner but also because there's some bits that can be confusing so still i made some mistakes that i said i was not gonna make again however i did learn from my previous mistakes and i did a much better job this time so let me talk about this one i got the full time lapse at the end so let's get started this time i decided to step up my sorting game i got this on amazon some puzzle trays they're kind of like eight inches or something they're stackable there's a lid so you can put it on the side i thought it was pretty awesome you know the first thing i said last week is i want to take more time get familiar with the image before the sorting i didn't do that i just want to get into it and i said oh that's gonna be easy look i'll put like a tray for red yellow uh green blue and purple i put five trays on the table and a sixth one for the edges and i just opened the box and started sorting and then i realized it was not that simple there's a lot of shades there's some details and textures so i could have done a better job for sure but in my defense i wanted to go fast because it was 4 30 i was running out of daylight and i wanted to just get it done before cooking so and i don't know about you guys and i'm asking you but how much time do you really want to spend sorting these? Like, do you really want to sort like, all these different textures and the lines and the oranges and the red and the yellow? So anyways, I started sorting and as I sorted, I realized, okay, this is, is it orange? Do I put it in red or yellow? So I started putting stuff on the borders and I did go pretty fast, 25 minutes, 26 minutes for, for a thousand pieces. I don't know what the average is, but I did miss a few edges. Like you'll see at the end when I did my, my frame, I was missing like three pieces, but pretty easy to find later when you get the right color. So anyways, 26 minutes for the sorting. Then, uh, the day after I started the edges, another 25, 26 minutes. And then, uh, and then I started going from left to right. I did red, I did orange and then yellow and i got stuck super early guys you'll see in the time lapse i put like five pieces and then i realized they all look the same i don't know if it's my light that was not good enough or my eyes maybe but i thought they were pretty much all the same even though there are a bit of shades so i i really really early started sorting all my red pieces by shape and then i start going and building the puzzle now, the one thing i did right this time is i didn't throw the pieces in piles and have to flip them over and over again like i said on my first video i did it right i put all the pieces on the right side and never flip them uh, again so i think that saved me a lot of time probably in the long run i did not look too much to the box or the picture so that was a bit confusing you can see huh it's not just straight red straight yellow it's got shapes and um it was really hard to to know when exactly you stop putting red pieces do they go there or middle or bottom and um when i got to transition parts i got stuck a little bit for some time especially the yellow and green and also as you will see there are some parts that can throw you off a little bit some yellow in the middle of the green some green here you know like they, they mix it up a little bit it's not always just yellow just blue just green so it was a little bit challenging at, at some part i mean i got stuck right at the start and i got stuck a little bit at the green part and the end was not so easy the dark parts the dark blue and the purple now another strategy i use for this one is every time i would move to another color i would look for some textures and you'll see also in the time lapse the yellow part they got some really easy textures to spot like they're kind of brownish here so also when you see these lines uh they were easy to to get out of the pack right so whenever i got to a new color 
I would look for textures, put them on the side, and then I would look for these lines and then start building. And then after that, I would sort everything by shape and just complete and fill the blanks. But overall, it was a super fun puzzle. This one I did for me, like it's not a, a challenge, a complicated one. It's not a big one. It's just a beautiful one that I want to do for fun. The casual part, I said, it's not always about trying to go and do speed puzzling and super hard challenges. Sometimes I just want to puzzle for fun and for me. And I think I found something I really like here. The beautiful, colorful puzzles. I think I'll do more of that later, guys. It's my only one right now, but I will get more of these. It's awesome. I really recommend if you guys can find this one somewhere. Vivid Collection, Buffalo Games, Thousand Pieces, Plumes of Color. I don't know why I really don't see a lot of Buffalo Games puzzles online when I watch YouTube videos. It seems to be very often the same brands, but I don't know. I don't see them that much. But before I leave you guys with the time lapse, I want to say my next video is going to be a mail opening video. I got puzzles online for the first time ordering online. I think I got six puzzles there. And I want to show you guys what I got in my next video, what's coming later on the channel. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next upload. Now enjoy the time lapse video. Smash like if you enjoyed. Leave me a comment below. I'll see you guys in the next one.